Upheavals by Mbela Sone Dipoko. The changes that are about to take place in the poem are announced by three days of ceaseless rain. The three days of rain symbolize the discontent of the masses who can bear it no more. The suffering and the frustration is just too much for them to bear. It also announces the anarchy, turbulence, and chaos that characterizes the state that is ruled by a tyrant or a dictator. The leader is conscious of his malpractices and poor governance and of the fact that the people cannot bear with him anymore. He is afraid of this moment when the people will spit him out, when they will reject him, it is Mbela Sones Dipoko's critic on African leadership that ignores the masses and only regrets when it is too late. He is aware that he has not been a good ruler and there is general despair because the state has been ruined, symbolized by his tiny eyes were only particles of light. He sits on his throne ruminating silently as his power gradually comes to an end. His closest men and those of his inner circle of power are simply referred to as horses and cats as they look for an exit door because of their wrong doings. They sense danger and they beg for wings to escape from being punished by the masses. The horses and cats represent his political collaborators who will face the same consequences as the dictator himself when he is dethroned. The close collaborators desire to escape and abandon the master to himself, but it is impossible. The poem ends with a warning note that the tyrant will have to face the consequences of the dance that he had orchestrated. He is now reduced to a simple rat sitting on a sinking throne waiting for the hour of death, our reckoning to come. These are people who had once lived in castle, luxury, and opulence, while the majority lived under the crushing weight of poverty. The poem focuses on the fate of dictators and dictatorial leaders. The poem centers on a greedy leader who has neglected the people whom he rules. The end of such leaders is always bloody and miserable. His close associates try to abandon him, but they must all face the consequences of their actions. The animal images are very significant because they represent the dictator's collaborators and portray the poet's sarcasm for the dictator. At the end of the poem, he is reduced to the stature of a rat waiting on a sinking throne to die. The atmosphere in the poem is full of pessimism and anxiety as the tyrant waits for the hour of death. The poet's attitude is that of condemnation for tyrannical rule. The poem focuses on exposing post-colonial dictatorship where leaders believe that they are the country and the country is their property and they rule it on their own out of greed. They prefer to die than to hand leadership to another individual. This shows the bestial level to which the leaders have descended but there is always a day of reckoning when they will have those thrones. They will have to leave their thrones by force through popular uprising. They prefer to die on the throne or in power and hold the people in bondage than to ameliorate the living conditions of their subjects. Africans had thought that upon gaining independence, their lives would be better off during the colonial, than during the colonial period because their brothers are in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the affairs of their countries. The rainy days introduce an apocalyptic ending of the tyrant whose reign has been sterile. His eyes are particles of light suggesting the fractured vision that has marked his reign. The animal image used in the poem represents his close friends and collaborators. 
who seek to escape abandoning him to his fate. Note the manner in which the tyrant has been debased as he clings to the sinking throne. The tyrant waits for the day when he will answer to the music of his barbarity and institutionalized thievery against the people and the nation. The poet indicates that tyranny cannot last forever and there is hope that better things are coming to the people once the tyrant is dethroned. The nationalistic spirit will be ignited by the fire of rebellion through the uprising to put an end to such shameful leadership and governance. The word upheaval itself symbolizes an uprising or an ending. Why sinking throne symbolizes the fall of a tyrant. Horses and carts have been used metaphorically to refer to the tyrant's henchmen or inner circle. In fact, neocolonialist leaders are nothing but rats that hang on sinking thrones waiting for their turn to die or to be deposed. In this poem, the poor could prophesy doom for all dictators who have taken their people hostage and transformed the state to their personal property.